our next subtopic is angles of elevation and depression. So let us start with the definition. What is an angle of elevation and what is an angle of depression? So the keyword here is looking up and looking down. So imagine you have an object here and you are here. And then an object here and you are observing at this point. So between you and the object, you can form or we can draw the line of sight. So these are the line of sight. Okay, and then of course the horizontal. Now the angle between that horizontal line and the line of sight, okay, the line of sight above that horizontal line is what we call the angle of elevation. Similarly, if this is your object and this is your line of action or line of sight, the angle point between that line of sight and the horizontal line is the angle of depression. So we will use this concept in solving problems which involves these two angle of elevation and angle of depression. So we will solve again mostly a right triangle. So our first example, a meteorologist find the height of a cloud using an instrument called telometer. A telometer consists of a light projector that directs a vertical light beam up to the cloud bay and the light detector that scans the cloud to detect the light beam. So see figure. In December 8, 2010, at Midway Airport in Chicago, telometer was employed to find the height of the cloud cover. It was set up with its light detector 300 feet from its light projector. So, it is given. So, this is the light, uh, light detector, this is the light projector, and this is the cloud. And the 300 feet given is the distance between the light detector and light projector. So, this is 300 feet. Now, if you will draw the equivalent triangle of this given situation we have here the 300 feet okay so if the angle of elevation from the light detector so this is your light detector to the base of the cloud was 75 so if, if this is the cloud so we have a given 75 degrees angle of elevation so it's 75 degrees what was the height of the cloud cover so the unknown here is the height of the cloud. So let us denote that as h. Now let us solve this h using trigonometric functions for the Pythagorean theorem. So depending on the given, so the given here is the adjacent of the angle and the unknown is the opposite. So if you will solve or if you will relate h with the given, we can simply use tangent. So tangent of the angle 75 equals to opposite which is the height h and your adjacent is 300 feet. So tangent equals opposite over adjacent. So we have h over 300 feet. So now you can now solve for h from this equation. So h will be Tangent 75 multiplied by 300 feet. Or you can just simply multiply both sides by 300 feet. You have H equals to 1,120 feet. Example number 2. Adorning the top of the board of trade building in Chicago is a statue of Ceres. So ito yung building. So this is Ceres. So the Roman goddess of wheat. From street level, Two observations are taken 400 feet from the center of the building. So, two observations yung ginawa. Ito yung 400 feet na distance. Ito yung street level. So, this is your point of observation. Then, uh, the angle of elevation to the base of the statue is found to be 55.1. So, this is the base of the statue. And this is your point of observation. So therefore, the angle between the street or the horizontal 
and the base of this one is this is your 55 okay and the angle of elevation to the top of the statue is 56.5 okay if this is the top of the statue this is the horizontal so therefore the angle of elevation will be uh, this one so 56.5 Okay. What is the height of the statue? So the unknown here is the height of the statue. So if you will draw a triangle which represents the given situation, so this is the triangle that represents the or show the angle of elevation at the base of the uh, statue. So this is 55.1 and the given distance at the street or at the base of the building to the point of observation is 400 feet. Kung titignan nyo mabuti, ito yun. And So, yung mas maliit na triangle. And then, second, this triangle represents naman yung mas malaking triangle. If we have the angle of elevation of 56.5, ito yun. So, ito siya. Then, denoted by B, yung distance dito sa base ng statue hanggang dun sa ground or doon sa street. Then, yung B prime, yun yung distance doon sa tuktok ng statue hanggang sa base. So, ang hinahanap dito ay yung distance dito or yung height ng statue. We can denote that as, uh, say for example, X. So, your X here is simply the difference between these two. So, B prime minus uh, B. Okay? For the solution, let us denote X as the height of the statue. Now, to solve that x, that x is simply the difference between b prime and b. To solve b prime and b, we can simply relate this angle of elevation with the given 400 feet. If you take a look at b and b prime, that is simply opposite and adjacent of your angle. Okay? So, you can use again tangent. So, first we have tangent 55.1. So, let us solve for B. So, solving for B here is simply 400 multiplied by tangent of 55.1 degrees. So, that is approximately 573.39 feet. Similarly, solving for B prime, just again tangent. So, tangent 56.5 is equal to opposite over adjacent to so B prime over 400 feet. Okay, so, your B prime will be 400 feet multiplied by tangent 56.5, that is 604.33. So, therefore, your X will be 600, which is your B prime, 604.33 minus 57 or 573.39 feet. So the answer here is 30.94 or approximately 31 feet. So this is the height of the statue.